Unraveling Idioms, Taken for a Ride. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the fascinating world of the English language. Today, we're unraveling an idiom that often puzzles learners, be taken for a ride. Whether you're a language enthusiast or someone striving to master English, understanding idioms like this can add a rich layer to your communication skills. So, let's get started and explore what it really means to be taken for a ride. Before we delve into the figurative sense, let's look at the literal meaning of the phrase. Imagine yourself in a car, being driven around by someone. Here, you are literally being taken for a ride. It's straightforward, right? This physical action of being transported from one place to another is our starting point. But, as we'll see, the idiom carries a much different connotation when used in everyday language. Now, let's explore the figurative meaning of being taken for a ride. In the world of idioms, this phrase takes a sharp turn. It means to be deceived, tricked, or misled by someone. Instead of a pleasant journey, this ride leaves you feeling duped or cheated. It's often used in situations where someone has been led to believe something that's not true, or when they've been involved in a scheme or trickery without their knowledge. To fully grasp the idiom, seeing it in context is key. Let's look at a few examples. 1. After realizing the watch he bought online was fake, John felt like he had been taken for a ride. 2. I can't believe I trusted her with my business idea, only to find out she stole it. I've definitely been taken for a ride. 3. When the promised job offer turned out to be a scam, Maria knew she had been taken for a ride. These examples illustrate how the phrase is used to express feelings of betrayal or deceit in various situations. When using the phrase, be taken for a ride, it's important to remember its negative connotation. It's suitable for informal contexts, such as conversations with friends or in personal narratives. However, it might be too colloquial for formal writing or professional settings. Also, remember that it implies victimhood, so it's crucial to use it sensitively, especially in situations involving serious deception or fraud. And that's a wrap on, be taken for a ride. We hope this video has enlightened you on this intriguing idiom, making your journey through English language learning a bit more enjoyable. Remember, idioms add color and depth to our conversations, allowing us to express complex emotions and situations succinctly. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more language insights. Until next time, keep exploring the richness of English and enjoy the ride.